Well, I'm always in a rush to get ready for work each day, though I would much rather prefer just to lay. It's not that I'm lazy, but now let me say, it's my responsibility to earn a weekly pay. I guess the fact is, it's simply my way. So I run out to my car like all the rest. I ignore my neighbor. He's much, much too much a pest. I turn on the radio to hear yet another protest, then speed to the highway with the greatest of zest, only to end up in the middle of a traffic jam. Now that I detest. Even the weekends I can't enjoy, since I never do have enough time. I have to cut the grass and sprinkle on a little more lime. And the car needs washing to remove all that dirt and grime. But oddly, through all of this racket and noise, I began to hear a faint little chime. At first I ignored it, but, but it called to me in a voice most sublime. The next day, my usual frantic pace in the fast lane, off the work I sped to get my hard-earned material gain. And then once again, I heard the chime with a voice of a wonderful refrain. Could all this high-stress tension, I thought, is it making me insane? So I followed the calling voice to its source, and what happened then, I cannot explain. The sound was for real when I saw the chapel bell. Housed in the tower, it rang loudly clear across the dell. Funny how I never noticed this small chapel in which I befell. It's been here all along, in the very same block where I dwell. I guess I was just too busy to notice this unimposing citadel. So I opened the chapel door and stepped in to take a peek. I had no idea what to expect, but the atmosphere was anything but bleak. I thought to myself, I haven't the time, but this quiet mood was so unique. A feeling overcame me when I realized that this is what I was really wanting to seek. And then while the organ sang melodies so sacred in tone, that voice I heard, began to speak. The word spoke of how God created the earth and the sky and told the purpose of life with who, what, where, when, and why. How sin came about and why all men must die and showed the way of salvation through our Lord Jesus who was crucified. And then with eternal life within my grasp to God alone I praised and glorified. It was the first time I had really ever came to know personally God's only Son. I guess I never deeply thought about what God has lovingly done. But now with Christ as the center of my life, I no longer travel in circles on the run. I walk straight to and slowly with my Lord, while the things of the world I tend to shun. Oh, I still do the chores of life, but I'm never in a rush, except when I'm running to the chapel of meditation.